In this video, I'm just going to show you how to load bitmap files into Photoshop and use them as patterns. A particular reason for this, uh, there's um, a set of patterns, uh, ostensibly for PSP, but they can also be used for Photoshop. And they were created a while back, so um, by Graphic Extras. Uh, I just want to show you how to load them. So a file, obviously open, and here's a selection of the patterns. I'm just going to just show you the folder above. So this is all the various sets of patterns. Pattern 1 all the way up to 14. There's also a set of EPS designs. Now they're just general EPS files. You might not need to use them if you want or not. Uh, there's also a manual that comes with it, a PDF file. Obviously the patterns themselves are these ones, the patterns 1 to 14. So I'm just going to go in there and you'll see bitmap. Now just basically select one of those bitmaps, file open, now you've got the design there, now just go to edit, define pattern and click OK. Once you've done that you can go to a layer, new fill layer, pattern, click OK and you'll see the pattern there. Just see it's a seamless pattern, seamless design and you can of course scale it. So I'm just going to go 50 also, with the latest version of Photoshop, you can also go to the Edit and Fill, and there's a pattern there, and there's also now various scripts, a selection of scripts, which you can of course use and modify. So, just not going to show you those, so click Cancel at that point. Now, once you've actually opened and applied them, obviously you can modify them as well. So, they're just standard bitmap files, and I'm just going to go and select another one, Open File, Open. And they're all seamless design, so grained and just select one of those again, another bitmap file. And again, you can just define that as a pattern. Right, if you actually want to load all of the patterns, the quickest, easiest way to do that is actually to use the actions. And I'll quickly show you that window actions. And I've actually already created the pattern for myself, but uh, there's a pattern. Basically, the quick, easy thing is just create a pattern, an action that includes that edit command, define pattern, and a close. So once you've actually created an action, just new action, create that. You can then, of course, go via the file, automate, and batch. There's batch, just brings up batch, and obviously just select the patterns one there and create pattern and of course these patterns can be changed in many different ways so you can actually create uh, like different sort of inverted patterns change the hue of the pattern etc etc so there's no limit to how many patterns you can actually create from the same sort of pattern file so anyway that's just a quick way of adding all the patterns fairly quickly into the obviously you don't want to maybe load all of the patterns but maybe one folder that's probably going to be the best thing if you load all of them say, I think it's about, well, about 1,000, 2,000 different patterns in the set, the system probably would actually have problems with that, as all those patterns are added to the palette. So that's probably not a great idea. So anyway, that's just a quick run through of the various patterns. Like I say, just go to this option here, the batch, if you want to actually add them all in a particular folder. But oh, hope you found this uh, quick tutorial of interest.